Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. Two earthquakes over three in magnitude struck in the area just west of Oak. From now on, this area will be referred to as Borgarfjörður. This is the same area I talked about in my last volcano update video, and since then the activity has been steadily increasing. The larger earthquake of the two three magnitude ones was a magnitude 3.7 to be exact, and it made itself very present in the towns close to its origin, like Husafell and Borganes. But there were reports of people feeling it in the capital too. Do we have any new information regarding the situation? Well, let's check it out in the data and detail section. So, if you watched my last volcano update video, you know that back then this activity was thought to be caused by pressure release in the area. Despite the increasing activity, that hasn't changed. But with every day this activity continues, it gets more interesting, as this area is so far from the main plate boundaries. The closest plate boundaries are marked on screen, and as you can see, this is quite far away. This isn't the first time activity like this has been observed in this area. Back in 1973, an earthquake series began close to this area and lasted for a year. The largest earthquake in that series was 5.5 in magnitude and struck in June of 1974. So, there's a possibility that this could last for a long time and pack some pretty large quakes. What baffles scientists the most though is what could be causing this. Well, it's most likely caused by normal fault movements, but nothing we know of explains why this earthquake activity is so long lasting. It's normal to have a few short and weak earthquake series in some areas, but here up in Borgafjörður, we get long lasting earthquake series with many powerful earthquakes. Normally, normal fault activity would end with the first sharp earthquake. The best explanation so far is that this is connected to the geothermal heat that is present in Borgarfjörður. There is way too much of it there. So much that scientists can't explain why either. The most voluminous hot spring in Europe is located in Reykolstalur in Borgarfjörður, with an output of 180 liters of 100 degrees Celsius water per second. The perfect combo. Unexplained earthquake activity and amounts of geothermal heat that can't be explained either. But could this be caused by magma intrusion? Activity like this could of course be caused by a magma intrusion, but in this case it isn't, at least as of now. We haven't detected any ground deformation in the area that would indicate that magma has started to make its way to the surface. This is just another earthquake run that apparently happens every now and then in the area. It would have been cool to get an eruption in that area, but that is just extremely unlikely, since this area is pretty far from any active volcano systems. Will this activity continue, and will we get a magnitude 5 earthquake soon? Well, let's hop on over to the speculations and prediction section. The future of this activity is pretty predictable, I think. Knowing the special stats of the area, that is Borgafjörður, we should expect the activity to continue and even grow in size. Whether it'll last for a year or not is impossible to say, so we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get earthquakes over 4 in magnitude, maybe not. But as of now, this activity does not point towards another exciting eruption in Iceland. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.